We are once again tracking the potential for severe weather. This is I-69 and Brooks School Road. You can see traffic at a standstill on that one part of uh, the interstate there. Well, moving slowly. Uh, uh, Chief Meteorologist Ashley Brown joining us now. I think the camera was frozen there for a moment. Mm -hmm. Actually, the camera we were going to go to got mm -hmm. knocked out because of the rain. Heavy rain. Yeah. We'll continue uh, to deal with that. Um, these storms that are sitting inside the 465 loop outside, so Marion Hendricks, um, Hamilton County, these storms are not severe. Mm. They have lightning. They have heavy rain. They will cause some flooding issues, as we've already seen that kind of pop up. Um, but the severe threat still sits further to the south and east. As you look at this map, you can kind of see there. Um, all right, so let's kind of dive in and talk about this system. We're going to zoom in uh, closely here and kind of ta tackle um, this entire system. Heavy showers now stretching from Indianapolis to Brownsburg, Plainfield, West. Westfield Fishers over into Lawrence. So um, the heavier showers are sitting right over us. As they move off to the east, they do have a few strikes of lightning with them. Those polygons that you see there, those are special weather statements. They are not severe thunderstorm warnings. The storm has not been strong enough for severe thunderstorm warnings so far. But we're tracking it. Indianapolis uh, sitting over our area right over us, although we have some light rain, some heavier showers at around 535. Lawrence at 545, and that's for the heavier showers. Lawrence, you already have um, some showers sitting over you. That's the system ahead of it. Um, um, as far as the heavier showers that we're tracking behind it um, that's coming through as well. So you have your first round sitting over you now in Lawrence, second round moving through um, for you at around 545. As we look for fissures, heavy rain for you right now. We'll continue to track this system off to the east, moving slowly. Noblesville, quite a few strikes of lightning there from Lapel up 32 to Anderson. You'll see those heavier showers and lightning. This is probably um, the stronger of uh, the system here as you look ahead of it and you look behind it. This is where we see the the heaviest rain and where we see the most lightning here. This is sitting north of Fortville and traveling off to the east at 20 miles per hour. So we've talked about the speeds. So let's track it now. You can see it traveling off to the east, making it to Pendleton. Um, although Pendleton, you have some light rain right now. The heavier showers coming your way at 535. Um, expanding out here um, because of all this rain and how slow it's moving. I mentioned a few times 20 miles per hour. You see the green pop up here. That green is a concern of flooding. Ponding on the roadways, flooding, this is a concern. So if you uh, normally leave work right about now at 520 and you're watching us saying, oh, should I leave now? Should I leave later? If you're at home thinking, should I go to the grocery store now or later? Give it 15 minutes. This system is starting to clear. We can see the back edge of it um, sitting just east of Greencastle now. So give it about 10, 15 minutes and we'll kind of fix this, uh, fix these conditions. Although flooding will still be a concern here tonight. Now, where I am more, more concerned at would be the watch area. So areas south of the Bloomington Columbus line, you've been under a thunderstorm watch for a couple hours now, and we're starting to drop the watch off from this system and see rain and thunderstorms that are not included in the watch, right? So rain behind the system within the watch area, Columbus, Seymour, you're still under the watch, although you have thunderstorms that are not severe at the moment. Any severe thunderstorm warning, I believe that it will come faster here than it will to the north. But we are really starting to diminish that threat as you see just straight rain here. The watch was set out until 8 p.m. I think this watch will end um, earlier because the system is moving out. There is a severe threat as we look at the system moving through. You'll see it completely clear this area uh, by the time we get to around, I would say, 7, 8 o'clock tonight. Some scattered showers behind it. Severe threat definitely ends by 7, so we're done with that a bit earlier um, than the main threat here. We'll do this again tomorrow, tracking more in the way of showers and thunderstorms in this forecast. Hensley Legal Group 7-day forecast. We see temperatures in the upper 80s to near 90 by Sunday as we finally dry out. And next week, it is warm, it is muggy, with slight chances for showers by Tuesday evening.